my Jamaican friends out there. This one is for you. Okay, I know, I know. It wasn't the best accent, right? But don't come for me. But I am still making a dish that is a staple in Jamaica. It is called fish escovitch. And it's basically fried fish, crispy fried fish, layered on with pickled spicy veggies. I mean, all yeah, you can't get wrong with that. It is a very, very simple recipe. Um, in terms of Trinidadians making it, I have not seen a lot of people from Trinidad do it. I'm sure it is also made in other Caribbean countries, but I know for sure them Jamaicans, they own this dish. So let's get into it now, right? Today we're going to be working with raw we are working with lionfish today, right? Um, if you all are aware, lionfish is a predator in our waters. So you could, you do not have to feel guilty about fishing, not fishing. You, well, you don't have to feel guilty about fishing it and eating it because it grows in abundance, right? It sells a lot in Tobago. So yeah, so we're working with lionfish. I find it to be very pretty. Yeah, and today we're going to tame this lionfish by putting it in the fryer. So when you see it, usually it doesn't come like this. It has lots of spikes and everything around, so you have to be very careful when you're working with it. Around by the mouth, it's kind of prickly and rough. So you have to be very careful when you're working, working with it. But other than that, it's a nice, meaty, white flesh fish. I love it. Um, another fish that I like too is snapper, which is traditionally made with, or redfish. But basically, any white fish that is meaty is great to use in this fish escovitch. And I know some people would maybe do it with fillets, but I'm sorry, I like how it looks with a whole fried fish. And if you're like me, you could eat a whole fried fish by yourself with ease, right? So we are going to season up our fish. Let me just make sure that you're all seeing here properly. And we're not using any green seasoning here, guys, because the, the key is making sure that the fish is dry because it's going to come into contact with heat we don't want anything to become burned so this is we are not putting any flour we're not putting any coating we are putting more or less a dry rub which i made myself um you can use all purpose seasoning but this just has all the aromatics like ginger pimento powder mustard powder paprika etc don't worry it will be in the recipe so you can check it out i also use some old bay seasoning let me just show you a little where is that yes old bay seasoning which is great for seafood and um fish but it has that kind of nice creole kick so i added some of it in there but if you don't have it it's fine right so getting in i am just going to lightly put some oil on the fish just so that the dry rub can more or less stick to it and fish should smell like the ocean but not fresh this is not going to be a little um, science class but when you're buying fish just make sure the eyes are not cloudy that's an indication of how fresh the fish is or not right so we're just now going to sprinkle on a saying sprinkle but it's really liberally our dry rub and i made sure and scored the fish prior because we want it to get all there in the crevices as well right so it's there as well as on the inside i'm just dusting it now and then i will um rub it in after nice so this is what we're doing rub just make sure and rub it in get an oily cavity I know some people can't with the fish head, but I love a good fish head. Sorry. It's great if you're making fish broth as well. You get a lot of flavor from the fish head. We are going to put it in, and we don't want to crowd our pan because with frying, the more you crowd it, is the more stuff will start to steam, and we don't want that, right? So, first, Mr. Lionfish going in. Get it sizzle. Yes. That is what we want to hear. The packs, packs, packs. 
that's what we want to hear so because of the, the size of the fish i would estimate maybe about five to seven minutes on either side yeah right guys so to kind of help the process along this was a kind of big line fish so you realize some of the tail is out so to help the process along we're just going to baste the fish with the oil on top and if you can see that the skin is already starting to ripple smelling so good So I reserved some of the oil that we used to fry the fish. Now this part is going to go very quickly. We are not going to say cook all our aromatics. That's not what we want because it's really a pickling kind of sauce we're going for. But we just want to give them a little wake up call, right? So I'm just going to put some of the oil that I'd fried the fish in before. Just a little, not a lot. And because it's already flavored, double flavor, right? I'm going to add some garlic. Notice how I cut the garlic very thinly thin slices and it's not we're not cooking it for it to get brown either add in some ginger remember this is my take on it i love ginger so ginger goes in almost everything and now this is a spicy sauce so we have scotch bonnet pepper i mean you i use half of one you could put more according to your heat level and add a bay leaf as well we add in it whole because we're gonna take it out. We just wanna get the flavor out of it, right? You're gonna pour in your vinegar. Yeah. Gonna add our pimento berries now, which in Trinidad, we don't cook with it as much, but it is great in stews, especially for dishes like this as well. You wanna make sure your fire is on low heat. All right, we're going to add our onions next. And little ringlets. We are not cooking it to say, you know, you're cooking the life out of it. We still want it to have um, some bite to it. Yeah, and then we're going to add the sugar. And this is to your taste, of course. Yeah, just raise the fire. Whew just a little so at this time you're going to be smelling the vinegar it's going to be smelling like a nice pickling nice pickling sauce and the heat whoo that is going to really come through a lot I'm going to add in the carrots very simple veggies guys just carrots onions and sweet peppers if you have the colored ones knock yourself out we have the ones that are kind of orange and green so i'm just stirring this around and just maybe a little pepper maybe a tiny bit of salt to taste right so i think we're ready and we're just going to pour it over the fish now the aroma so you're just going to put it now over your fish gosh I can't wait to dig in I mean the bay leaf is whole you could remove it if you like but it added a little aesthetics <laughs> and most important part is the gravy because we want the fish to kind of soak in all of this flavor now in Trinidad, we're more accustomed to um, stew fish or brown stew, but I dare you to try out this recipe. It's a different flavor profile than what you're accustomed to, but I assure you, you are going to love it. Anyway, it's spicy, it's vinegary, pickly, sweet. Of course, you have the nice fish at the bottom, so it just lends itself to a really, really nice, eating experience in jamaica they will usually have this with festivals or bami or baby i'm not sure i'm pronouncing it correctly but in trinidad listen you roast your bake you slather some butter on it and you just dig into your fish so let us know if you try the recipe mm -hmm.